as you're maturing, you start to want to test your boundaries. My father died when I was 14, so naturally now you don't have that disciplinary there. So as you become older, you start to do more and more, hang out with the fellas. You know, you want to do the things that most children want to do. Later on, I got involved with actually selling drugs. And then one day, me and a guy had a problem, and he thought that it was a good idea to come to my mother's house, kick the door in, and I shot him, and he died. They arrested me, and then they set bail because they certified me as an adult. I was tried and convicted of first-degree murder. I was sentenced to life without the possibility of parole, which basically means that you will die in prison. Since I was part of the street environment, it was scary, but I can't say that I was actually scared because when I went in, I went in with a mindset that I'm willing to die to protect myself. I was fortunate enough to, to, to know somebody. He would continuously tell me to go to school, and I actually found out that I enjoyed studying, I enjoyed learning. Nobody wants to be locked in a cage, but for some people, they just don't have that hope. They can't accept 10 no's to get the one yes. I found the Center for Returning Citizens from some guys in there that I knew that I was volunteering on my free time when I wasn't doing anything. For me being around, they just automatically bring you in because it's, it's almost like an internship. TCRC overall, to help people find jobs, housing, you know, really they assist you in any way that you need when you come home from prison. Because without those things, it's easy to be pulled back into the things that you used to do that sent you to prison. Can you imagine being like 15 and having everything that you want, a car, apartment, you know, going, going wherever you want to go, buying whatever clothes you want to buy? You never think it's going to end because it's certainly coming to an end. And in the, in, in the end, there's only two things. Either you're going to die or you're going to prison. It's just that simple.